of beating the Jets. The Patriots are back from some home cooking here at Gillette Stadium at 1-1, one one, getting ready for the Saints. And before we even get to New Orleans, it's been a busy week. And thanks to Tom Brady Sr. talking about next week's matchup against the Bucks. Yeah, uh, Tom Sr. was a guest on Tom Curran's uh, podcast and basically said that the Brady family felt very vindicated by Tom's performance away from here and that that was a good thing because bad boy Bill Belichick wanted Tommy gone. Yep. And of course he is gone, but of course the Patriots are still here. They'll see the Bucks next week. In the meantime, they are not seeing Matt Judon, who missed practice on Wednesday with a knee injury. Kyle Van Noy returned, which was good news, but you know, you'd rather have that full linebacking core against a good Saints offense this week. Yeah, especially, you know, trying to contain Alvin Kamara for mm. one and also Jameis Winston to a to a degree in basically applying pressure to him. So yeah, Judon, not having Judon would be significant, but getting Kyle Van Noy back is also a good thing. Elsewhere in the injury front, Trent Brown was limited with the calf injury. This was his second straight practice after he returned last Friday. Friday practices are usually non-padded, basically a walkthrough, so that didn't mean much, but Brown starting the week on the field today was good news. And last but not least, the Saints, uh, well-respected there in the Patriots locker room, even though they were held to 128 yards against Carolina last week, the fewest ever under Sean Payton. And look, the Panthers have a good defense. This offense is down, but they're expecting the Saints of week one to roll in here on Sunday, and that was a team that knocked the slobber out of the Packers in their opener. Yeah, I mean, Devin McCourty waxed poetic about, you know, facing many opponents uh, who got basically clobbered the week before, came back and played the best games of their lives. So the Patriots are preparing for the best possible Saints team come Sunday. Yeah, it's something you hear a lot here around Foxborough. Very complimentary, almost flowery praise to their opponents. But I think this week it's absolutely deserved. So for Karen, I'm Andrew. So long from Foxborough.